So once you think your horse is ready, take your lead rope there and kind of set it down behind their rump. Just maintain about a 45 degree angle here off of the hip and just get them to follow their nose out like that. Here at a 45 behind the hip. Just pick up the nose a little bit. There you go. And get her to follow her nose out. You get that work in both directions. This is really a highly reactive course. So we're really happy with what we see happening here this morning. And again, don't get yourself kicked. Just fall down here at about a 45. There. And get her to follow her nose out. And see. You can kind of drop that rope in behind the candle board here. And just start to pick up on it. Kind of slow like again maintain there she kind of thought about coming to the weight of the rain there see i'll just kind of hold her here i'll encourage her there you go good without pull drop back at that 45. she can kind of feel that rope she's wanting to come to me but i want her to follow that rain like that good girl good girl this will start getting back at that 45. Right there, I want her to follow the rain without pulling on her hard. There she goes. She's looking for the easy way out. Going behind the pommel here with the saddle horn. And then just see if I can't step right here. Very good. And that's what we're looking for right there. Drop back to 45. She wanted to come to me with this eye. Good. And then she decided maybe it'd be easier to follow the rain. We'll just kind of let her Feel this rope get kind of swung around her a little bit. She felt that lead rope swing around, but she never felt this loose and swung. And what I'm looking for is that she find a place to settle. Good. There you go. I'll just kind of watch her head out of the corner of my eye here. I want to watch for her to settle and accept this. There she kind of quieted. Saddle here in a second. There you go. There you go. I'm just kind of let her feel that rope coming. We'll go ahead and rope her right on the rump this time and just let her feel that rope coming up behind her there. Let her realize it's not hurting her. If she keeps herself nice and quiet. And she settles herself. If it falls off, that's okay too. Good girl. Just go ahead and send her out. Let her feel that grabbing her a little. There we go. <laughs> kind of set it up a little more permanent basis there where she can't kick it off. There you go. We don't want to scare her with it. Feel, let her feel a little pressure there. There, we got it clamped up under her tail, which is good. Just let her kind of feel that. Now, what I'm going to look for and hope for is that she'll kind of settle herself and drop that down out of there. There you go. Let her feel that happening to her again. She's got to be able to handle it. Not there to hurt. It's over here on that box, Margie. I'm going to kind of feel a little pressure come up there. Let's be better with it. Let her feel a little more pressure. Here. A little more pressure. I have to call her this evening. Okay. Oh, thank you. My advice is don't do this if you got spurs on, because your rope can tangle up in your spurs. Now she's kind of settling with that. Put a little pressure on her there. She wasn't too serious about it. That's I felt her tail relax, that's where I put it. There we go. 
Saw that, but it didn't feel good, huh? There we go. Let's feel that come up under that tail again. If you want to settle to it. Very good. Okay, we we'll turn it up. She got the rope around her hind end here. I want her to bring her hip in and try to relieve herself of a little pressure. I'm just going to hold a little kind of steady there. Not so bad that it scares her, but that she's looking for something to do. She wants to come to me. That's not helping her situation. There, I just kind of drove her off. Let her feel down around the other side now. Kind of let her move on. I'll just kind of start to apply a little pressure here. She wants to run up under her tail, kind of her problem and her business. It's not helping her situation any, so she needs to start looking for a different answer. Maybe I'll kind of help her right here. Turn to the fence. She goes, I'm going to try something different. There we go. Good girl. Just a couple little kicks there. See if you can find that answer again. No, 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 no. She turns back. Girl comes on this side. She turns back. Girl. Nice turn back. So we set her up the ground driver now. These reins coming down over her backside shouldn't bother her. And pick up, put a little bit of butt pressure on her right there. Look at there. Sweet, huh? Eight. Look at there. See when she feels that rope come down on the outside. She's realizing she can give herself relief. A little bit of butt pressure. Look at there. Hardly any encouragement for me. Look at there. See what's happening? See that, Marty? Cool, huh? So we've let her walk around, think about what just happened to her. Now we'll see what kind of response we get out of her. I'll just lift that up over her rump. There's no kicking. I barely picked up on the ring. Let's see if she'll turn to the fence. I'll help her a little bit. Good. Good girl. Good girl. I'll just flip it back over. Let her think. Let her feel that thumb. No violent reaction. Barely put a little pressure on her. Help her just a little bit here. Good girl. Put the back. Pick it up. Look at there. She hit the brakes when she felt it. No kidding. And thought about turning back. Good girl. Not because she's tired, it's because she's thought her way through it. Very good. Put a little pressure. Come on. Pressure. Good. And then I'll just let her walk out and think about what just happened to her here. Head's low. She's thinking. She's not in a panic. Couldn't ask for better than that right there. Hey, Luke.